Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making this crochet scarf. This scarf measures 8.5 inches wide and 80 inches long, which is just over six and a half feet. You can make yours whatever size you would like, and I will explain that as we go along. I am using a number four medium weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook for my scarf. You can use whatever size yarn you would like, just make sure to use the recommended hook size for your yarn, or if you would like your work to be a little more loose, you can use a larger size hook for that. To make this scarf the size that I did, I used about a full skein of the Red Heart Super Saver skeins, which has about 364 yards in it. So with my yarn and the 5.5 millimeter hook, we are going to start with a chain of 31. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, I will put links for those in the description box below. And if you would like to make this longer or shorter to make your scarf wider or thinner, you will do that in increments of six. When you have 31 chains on your chain, we are then going to add two more and then we are going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And that beginning chain three does count as a stitch. So we now have two stitches and we are going to double crochet into the next stitch and every single stitch all the way across. And we should have 31 stitches at the end, including the beginning chain three. When you get to the end of the first row, you should have 31 stitches, including the beginning chain three. And then we are going to turn our work and start with a chain three, which does count as a stitch. And then we are going to double crochet into the next stitch and every stitch all the way across. When you make it to the end of the second row, your last double crochet should be in the third chain from the beginning three from the last row, and you should still have 31 stitches. For the third row, we are going to turn our work and start with a chain of four, and this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. And then we are going to chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet into the next and repeat this all the way across this row. Again by chaining one, skipping a stitch, and double crocheting into the next stitch. And repeat this all the way across. When you get all the way across row three, your last double crochet should be in the third chain of the beginning three from the last row. And you should have 16 double crochets and 15 chain one spaces at this point if you are using a count of 31. For row four, we are going to turn our work and chain three, which does count as the first double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet around the next chain one space and double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat this all the way across. Again, by double crocheting around the next chain one space and double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat this all the way across. At the end of the fourth row, when you have double crocheted into the last double crochet, you will double crochet around the fourth chain of the beginning four from the last row as a chain one stitch. And then we are going to double crochet into the third chain of the beginning four as the first double crochet. And that is the end of row four. And you should have 31 double crochets at the end of that row. For row five, we are going to turn our work and start with a chain of three, which does count as the first double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet into the next stitch and every stitch all the way across this row. When you get to the end of row five, you should still have 31 stitches, 
and your last double crochet will be in the third chain from the beginning three of the last row. For row six, we are going to turn our work, and we are going to start with a chain of three, which does count as a double crochet, and then we are going to skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. So that will be the fourth stitch of this row so far, and then we are going to chain two and double crochet into the same stitch. We are then going to skip another two stitches and do the same thing by double crocheting into the next stitch, chaining two and double crocheting into the same stitch. And we are going to repeat this all the way across until we have three stitches left at the end of this row. So again, we are going to skip two stitches and double crochet into the next, chain two and double crochet into the same stitch and repeat that all the way across until we have three stitches left at the end of this row. When you have worked that all the way across and you now have three stitches left, we are then going to skip two stitches and double crochet into the third chain of the beginning three from the last row. And that is it for row six. And at the end of this row, you should have 20 double crochets and nine chain two spaces if you are working with a original count of 31 stitches. For the next row, we are going to turn our work and we are going to start with a chain of three which does count as the first double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet into the same stitch. So again, double crochet into that same stitch for two double crochets in the first stitch. We are then going to double crochet in the very next double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet one time around the next chain two space. And double crochet one time into the next double crochet. And that is what we are going to do all the way across this row. Again, by double crocheting into the very next double crochet. Working one double crochet around the next chain two space. And double crocheting into the next double crochet. And repeat this all the way across until you have come to the chain three from the beginning of the last row. When you have made it all the way across that row and you have double crocheted into the last double crochet and you are left with the chain three from the beginning of the last row, we are going to double crochet into the third chain of the beginning three. And then we are going to double crochet into the second chain of the beginning three also. And that is the end of the seventh row. And again, you should have 31 stitches at the end of this row if you are working with that count all the way through. And that is the pattern for this scarf. So we are now going to go on to repeat rows two through seven until you have the length for your scarf that you would like. I am going to go on to work this pattern until I have 119 rows all together which will be about 80 inches long and a little over six and a half feet. When you have made your scarf the length that you would like, you can end on a repeat of row five to make it so that your scarf looks the same and has the same pattern on both ends of your scarf. So again, we are going to go on to repeat rows two through seven for the length of this scarf, ending on row five if you would like your pattern to look the same on both ends of your scarf. When you have worked your scarf to be the length that you would like, we are going to go ahead and finish off our work and cut the end. And again, I worked my scarf to be 80 inches and finished off on row five of the seven rows that are in the repeat of the pattern so that my scarf looks the same on both ends. We will then weave in our ends. 
The last thing that I did for this scarf is added some fringe to the bottom. You do not have to add fringe, or you can add the same amount of fringe, more fringe, or less fringe. It is up to you and how you want your scarf to look. I took six inch pieces of yarn, so they are three inches when folded in half, and put two pieces in every other stitch all the way across the bottom. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub, like, and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time, guys, I'll see ya.